I'm rocking out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in my dad's old hoopty. There you go. All right, so we are keeping out the heat and the sun. Yes. First, we want to just show how you were able to squeegee out all the bubbles with that tint. Yes. It That's really amazing. came out nice. Yeah. And it's going to really cut down on a lot of the heat. Right. So now we're going to talk about making your own sunscreen. Okay. So we have screen frame kits at Home Depot that you can make regular screens with. And usually they're 5 16 in uh, width for the frame. And with those come pre-made corners. So Perfect. you can just push the corner in and go this way and your corner is made. With sunscreens, because sunscreen is much heavier fabric mm -hmm. and much darker, you need a larger frame and it makes it really sturdy as well. So these are 7 16 in shape and this is the frame you would need. Can you use this for sunscreens? You can, but it's a lot more difficult to okay. make them because the spline is a lot thicker and it's hard to get it in there. So we're going to use this frame. But with this frame, they don't have the pre-made corners. Man. So you're going to use corners like this. So we need to miter the corners on this frame, which is a 45 degree miter. And you can use a hand miter saw but it really comes out nice if you use your chop saw. Okay. You want to make sure you use protective eyewear. Or step out of the way. And step out of the way. And then you're just going to measure your window and, you know, measure corner to corner. And we're just gonna... And just like that, like butter, it makes a perfect miter cut. So you can use the chop saw, but again, you can use the miter saw if you want. Once you get everything together, you're going to put your frame together with the corners and you just push them in like so. And when you get to the last one, I already made three, we're going to put the two together and then push down like so. And then this one, you know, you're gonna have to put in like this. Just put it all together. And you can see the nice, how it fits together nicely in the corners. And then you're going to attach your screen. Now, since I don't have this on, when you cut your screen, you're going to cut it about one inch larger all the way around, and you have a spline tool, and one end is the thinner spline tool, so you're going to use this to make your groove like so. This kind of pushes the screen in to get it started. The other side has a groove, and that's how you're going to push in your spline material, and this is what's going to hold the screen in. So this just pushes it in like so, all the way, and you can see how taut it gets. Once you get this all the way around, just in the interest of time, we've got one all the way done. You're going to cut the edge of your spline right here so you have a nice, and it cuts with the scissors. And then you're going to take your utility knife and just slice off the edge. And you want to just be careful that you don't cut the screen and you just slide it along like so and it gives you a nice finished edge. You're fine and then you have your screens. So this is gonna fit into your window. We also have installation clips that you just screw in around and they turn to hold the screens in. So this is gonna cut down on a lot of sun and a lot of heat. Yeah. It will darken your area. Um, so just keep in mind, and these can interchange with your regular right. screens throughout the so year. So don't throw those out, just put them in the, exactly. the garage or storage, exactly. rinse them off yep. in the winter and put them back on. And there's different color frames. So if you have white windows, you want to use a white frame and so forth. And it also comes in tan. The tan is 80% protection mm -hmm. and the dark black is 90% protection. So if you want it to be lighter but still give you protection, you can go with the sand stucco color. Another great idea from Debbie. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Stay cool. Look at that. Look at the difference.